Hello, pa 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 you. And hello, universe. How you been? You been uh, Monday, Monday, da da da. I think it's that day. It is Monday, right? Is it Monday? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's April even. Ah, oh, fuck, April Fools. Ah, oh, my favorite holiday, and I fucking forgot. Oh, well. We'll save it all up for next year, right? I mean, who am I going to prank anymore, right? Cat's dead, dog's dead, Lily's dead. And I didn't kill any of them. Well, I killed the cat. And I killed the dog. All right, but I did not kill Lily. And since Lily's the only human in that equation, allegedly, uh, I think that's the only one that you can hold me accountable for. And even if not, well, I'll just put my my media team on this issue and we'll get you uh, some sort of sorted historical point of relevance that I may make up or I may not because you may be somebody with some sorted relevant historical data that I can leverage. And then we'll see who's going to win this war. Because I'm an American. So I fight dirty. All right, where my mind is going today is already a concern. And as a matter of fact, the first thing on my list is there are times when I am such a mixed bag of holy shits to hell yes going on in my uh, current mental uh, popcorning that I always think, you know what could happen on this recording? No, you don't, because anything could fucking happen with the mind game you're bringing today. Well, today would be one of those days. I mean, I got thoughts from the absurd to the tragic written all over my Sweet 16, because apparently I was too lazy to turn the page. So, got them written in all sorts of directions, too. I mean, one thing I have finally achieved, which I think has been long overdue, but I think you almost have to live alone to get to this point. I think I finally achieved the madman papers, sort of piles of my own notes and writings, that if I were to, say, go postal in a McDonald's, with uh, one of those super silver water guns, but it was, you know, filled with paint or something that got the media attention. And then I was in jail, and they came to find out what was so wrong with me that I would do this, go shoot up at McDonald's with a super silver. And then they'd find all these random papers, and they'd say, well, we can clearly see he was insane from all his writings. I mean, who writes upside down and then turns the page to 2 o'clock and writes another thing and then turns the page to 7.30 and writes another thing? Who does that? I do. Pause. Um, pause. Hey, hey, hey. Should we do the community service message early? No, let's do that later. All right. Um, <clears throat> I will reluctantly admit again that I forgot to fully finish my thought. Because I cut myself off last time, and I did not mean to, but when I got to uh, the nothing further to add point, well, I had something further to add, apparently. Fucking idiot. Um, not you, me, me, me. I'm the fucking idiot. Um, God, how many times have I sworn already? How many? Seven? Uh, if it, it, it's over three, because we just did three. I know I did one earlier. So, it's four to seven. I'm going to guess it's six. Should I go find out? Good morning, audience. For once, I speak not to the universe, but to you. If for some reason you're listening to this, in whatever format you are, there is a play speed adjustment indicator that will allow you to at least get to two times speed. Do it. And if you can't tolerate two times speed yet, you will be able to soon enough, starting at 1.75, 1.7, somewhere in that range. Once you have listened to 10 minutes of me at double speed, you'll realize how slowly I speak. And you'll just think, well, what was I wasting all that time before with, ah, <sighs> This is the one time I'm giving you back a gift that only you can appreciate. More free time. Something we all deserve. Listen to me at double time. Do something that you didn't want to be doing in the first place while you listen to me. And you'll knock two things off your list that are on your frustration list if you don't. Pause.
Oh, no, let's not play word games today, because today there's just a little too much fucking truth. And the first truth is today is not yesterday. It's now today, which makes it the 2nd of April. Yep, that's right. The whole pause to figure out how many swear words there are in the first segment of this, well, that pause lasted a while. And since, uh, depending on who you are, that answer was either five or six. Well, let's just say you go figure it out if you need more information than that. Pause. And now a word from our sponsors. Uh, today's show is sponsored by the, hey, who the fuck came up with the idea of swear words anyway? That's some stupid shit, right? Foundation, which is a subsidiary of the Coke Group, which is owned by the Ford Foundation. And of course, this segment, as always, is sponsored by Pfizer. Now, who the fuck did come up with the concept of swear words? Who the fuck did that? Was it the TV people, the radio people? Like, who the fuck did it? Do you know? Why the fuck did they do it? Were they fucking with us? Were they just being fucking assholes? Did they just want to fucking stir the pot a little bit and make some words that we couldn't say? How fucking dumb is that? You fucking get what I'm saying, right? There's just no limit to humankind stupidity. Like creating language, using it to express and exchange enough common ideas to grow into a civilization of this grandeur, and then in such state of grace, we decide, but now that we've got all this going for us, how about we make up, let's say, 18 words, disperse them in the population, and say, yeah, you can't use those. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Yep, let's do that. And that was a word from our sponsor. Pause. Um, pause. All right, that one more thing I had to add. Well, I mean, one more thing being a general description of a larger subject matter of things is it's not, it's not just that we can't take the, I have nothing more to add when there's a direct follow up question of consequence from our leadership representatives as they are today. No, this crafting of the narrative that they want to do, this taking over of the messaging as they are seeing it fit to do in their what lack of or complete disregard of humanity for us. Either way, doesn't matter. Because however you want to see their performance at this point, well, it's only growing more absurd. And I say this because, well, I have nothing more to add. It's certainly a direct slap of ham in the face. The first cousin of I have nothing more to add um, you know what? We have not made an assessment on that, so I don't have an answer for you. Mm, okay, here's my thing. If I ask you, Mr. John Kirby, or Miss Jean-Pierre Bouncy Hair, if I ask either one of you this question, given that a worldwide opinion, and in fact domestic polling, both reveal that the majority of human beings on planet Earth think what's happening in the Israel-Gaza conflict is genocide. And furthermore, given that the International Court of Justice, I believe that's what it was, has in their own proceedings determined that not only is the action happening in Gaza indicative of genocide, but the evidence for Israel's intent to commit genocide is there. And, hold on, John Kirby. And furthermore, given that your own president, the man you supposedly worship, given that ever since he has taken a hardline stance on no support whatsoever for the human rights of the citizens of Gaza, well, he's lost seven points against Trump in his re-election campaign chances. So, Mr. John Kirby, I'm just curious. Do you think that what is happening in Gaza is genocide? Well, um, one of the things that you're going to find out about us Americans is that 
we ain't going to stick our nose in places where it ain't belonging. And since Israel ain't been telling us that they've been doing anything except following international law, then we ain't gone over there and had to make no assessment about whether or not they're committing damn genocide. They told us they weren't, so they aren't. And we will not be making an assessment outside their authoritative declaration of consideration for human rights across the board. We accept that, and we're done. Next question. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I have nothing more to add. Pause. Um, balls. <sighs> yeah, yep. After those last three minutes, I agree. At least one dab. More like three, right? More like four. I mean, it is April. Fourth month of the year. Four dabs. I believe I'm seeing symmetry here. Pause. Unpause. Wait, am I seeing symmetry or synchronicity? Or am I seeing synchronous symmetry? Hmm, pause. And p -p 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 all right, we can all agree the last segment was terrible, terrible. Uh, but I don't, I don't hide myself, my my terrible stuff from you. I, I put all my shitty shit in front of you, and then you say, <gasps> "Why did he do that? What is he even thinking? That's fucking absurd and frankly irresponsible." I didn't want to run into that today. Okay, okay. Well then perhaps you'll feel better about the fact that we have Benjamin Netanyahu on the phone. Because after hearing my last segment, he has a question or a statement or I don't know what. Can we get... Where's Netanyahu? Is he ready? All right. Pause. <clears throat> Good afternoon. It is I, Benjamin Netanyahu. I have a message for the American Goyim and the rest of the world, you schmucks. Listen. Israeli, good. Everybody else. Hamas terrorist, bitch. Is he gone? Dang. He hung up. He's gone. Oh, he's gone? Oh, man. Mr. Netanyahu, I had a follow-up question for you, to which I'm sure your answer would have been, I have nothing more to add. That's why I don't want to make this thing political. You invite a guy like that into the room, and he says shit like that. Now I gotta leave that too. I don't know. Seems like the world's going to hell, but you know what? I'm not. But I don't know about you. I don't think you are. You don't look like you are. I mean, I don't know anything about you really, but, uh, you know, if you are, you might as well get a ride with that guy because he's certainly going to hell.